today I'm making my, um, hello Denture family, I'm making my weekly trek for an eight week period. I'm on week seven of making a weekly trek out to Nashville for my nursing refresher course. It is Sunday afternoon. I am almost in Nashville now. I have probably about another 30 minutes of driving. So I promise I won't keep you guys tied up for 30 minutes. And it's been a day or two since I have um, updated you guys. I did those three, those four videos actually on the mail order dentures that I plan on getting one of them. At this point, I've not made my decision yet. However, I have ruled out, of course, the last one I did, which is the comfort dentures because then, no. Um, I ruled that one out literally immediately because there was no contact information, no real reviews on the product, and it just looked hinky to me. Um, the other one I did rule out Russell Klein, and it's not because of the quality of dentures, because everyone that I know that has had Russell Klein dentures absolutely loves the product, and it is phenomenal. My deal for me, for my situation, I want somebody that I can pick up the phone and contact, or, you know, contact right away if I have a question or I have a problem, whether it's during the impression process or whether it's um, even afterwards, um, you know, doing adjustments or anything, any questions that I might have, I, I want to be able to have, be able to contact them right away and either by phone or, you know, some other way. And I know you can contact Russell Klein by email and I'm sure that he gets back to you fairly quickly, which from what I understand from most people who have it do. And due to that, um, I'm probably going to go with, I'm about 90% sure I'm going to go with dip kits, largely because they do have a phone process that I can pick up the phone and call them and ask them questions. And neither Russell Klein nor Joe Stinchers have that. Um, I can contact Joe, or Jamie, through his website, through his Facebook and all that stuff. And that's great because I know he also makes an absolutely phenomenal product. And um, I've been chit-chatting with a guy on Facebook who's, you know, we've been chit-chatting about dentures. And he was asking me who did mine and, you know, he's going through the process. And he's going to be ordering from Jamie very soon if he hasn't already by now. Um, so, but for me, in my budget, um, budget, uh, for me in, in my situation, I prefer somebody that I could just pick up the phone and call, and I could do that with dead kids. So I'm, at this point, 90% sure I'm going to go with dead kids. Um, I haven't contacted anybody yet. Um, I'm still waiting on being that year out, which will be um, mid-April, or April 23rd was, um, Or was it March? You know what? I only have to go look. Um, because I can't remember, if it, can't remember if it's March or April. Let's see. It was April. It was April 23rd. I count six, back, six months back from October, which is when I had my, uh, started the process on my permanence. It was April. So April 23rd was when I had my extractions. And, um, temporary dentures and then six months later in October I started the process for my permanence and got those in November. So, but I will be a year out in April and that's when I want to start the process. I want to be a full year out before I, you know, bite the bullet and get those, those dentures for that backup. Um, as for my permanence, I'm not having any real issues. Yeah, I still use glue in them. Um, I need to order some more denture fit because I'm out. I think I have, I think I do have one tube left. I'll have to go back and look. I've rearranged my office and I'm just doing a lot of rearranging and stuff, so. It's just a, um, I'm in a different process trying to cut back on my home business, which, you know, I've been losing clients, but I really haven't done anything. I'm just, I'm tired of chasing clients to, in order for them to pay me. I've got one right now that I actually should email her today, but Sunday's the day I don't work. Um, she doesn't pay me by, Actually, if she didn't pay me about a day, she's suspended. Her services are suspended. And this is almost every month that I have to go through this with her. Is She pays me, and then I charge her late fees. She doesn't pay me, and then five, five days later, I suspend her services. And then she wants a flyer, and guess what? Um, I can't do it because, you know, you have to pay me first. 
So it's, it's frustrating to have to, to provide this service and I've got clients who don't want to pay, they're late paying. Um, I've had clients who, um, before, when I was doing mail services, when I was actually mailing their consultants postcards and newsletters, I would charge them up front for the service, but I didn't charge them for the postage until afterwards because I always charged them the amount of postage I actually spent plus fees, handling fees. Um, so if they had a hundred mail out, I would you know charge them for that hundred postage plus fees. I didn't make much profit on, on the mailings, but then I had um, two clients completely skip out on me after I spent. They skipped out on me owing me two or three hundred dollars each, and that was like. One of them was a referral of the other one. They literally skipped out on me a month apart. So it was very frustrating to pay up front, me to pay up front for those mailing services and have them just completely cut off contact. And they got that service. They basically got it for free because they didn't pay me. And I don't have the funds to go after them in court. Um, I don't have all that. I mean, my business isn't making that much money. But for those of you who don't know, what I do is I provide I'm a virtual assistant business for Mary Kay sales directors. And God love them. I love my Mary Kay. I love my sales directors. I've got some that are absolutely phenomenally awesome. But they are notorious for being, Mary Kay sales directors are notorious for being cheap. They want to cheap out. They want to cheap out on their services. They want to cheap out on the gifts that they give to um, their consultants. Because if you, especially if you have a large unit, it gets really expensive. So, and you're not making much for profit if you're spending all of your profits in trying to recruit people and trying to, you know, to get that going. And it's just, it's frustrating. And I'm, I've got a few, a few clients that I will keep. I do not provide mailing services anymore, so they all have to pay me up front. But then I've got the ones that don't want to pay. So they pay me for the month ahead, and then I do their newsletter, or I do their website, you know, whatever it is that they have. Um, right now, I'm down to two clients having website services, and probably one client has two webs, web newsletters, newsletters, and I have three more clients that have newsletters, and I have probably two other clients that have um, newsletters occasionally, like once a quarter, they'll do a newsletter. So they'll tell me they, what they want, I'll send them a bill, they pay it, and then I do it. It's not that big a deal, it doesn't take up that much time, but it's time for me to get back into nursing. I've got my health back, nurses are needed out there. Um, I'm actually looking forward to getting back into it, so there's that. <coughs> get those medical bills paid off, and you know, I can only work part time right now because I still have my mom to worry about after dad passed, so still got all those issues that I have to deal with. And let's see. I've got a pop it on the back of my, my phone and it's one of those that if you turn it it pops out it's a turn it and pop it out you don't pull it out like some of the other pop sockets and if I turn my phone the wrong way it just pops out and I'm like Ugh. frustrating so but that's where I'm at with my dentures um, as for these like I said I'm not having a whole lot of problems yeah I still glue them in it's not that big a deal <coughs> They're kind of big. They don't really, they're not really different looking, but especially the lowers, they feel kind of big growing around here. And maybe this because you had six months, you're not fully shrunk yet. I mean, but my, my medias were so big on me, they were big. See what I mean? They were big and bulky, and I'm about to go over another bump here. And I couldn't have survived a full year wearing those immediates. It was just, I got the monkey mouth. It's just, it was just too much. So, I'm happy with what I got. So, what will happen is that I will um, order the dead kids, get them home. <coughs> I got the dry throat going. Get in touch with Surge, order the impression kit, and, you know, very soon. And then once I, um, I'm a year out, I will start that process on getting this. And this will probably become my ones that I use all the time and these will be my backups. Um, but I do have a seven year warranty on these and I can get a hard reline, you know, at any time. I can also get soft relines in it if I want to. They're all free, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, if they break, they'll 
they're under warranty and they'll be taken care of. And, you know, that's the pros and cons of getting the mail order dentures is that you don't generally have much of a warranty. With dent kits, I know um, they're starting a different warranty kind of program from what I understand from one of the other videos I was watching from Ms. Vicki. Um, and I think it was Ms. Vicki or somebody else who was wearing dent kits that um, they got in the one-year warranty because they were starting a new kind of better kind of warranty thing. So... <coughs> So that's, you know, there's that. Um, they're comfortable. I can eat in them. I can eat almost anything. Um, I do have a hard time eating almonds with it, and it didn't matter whether it's my permanents, my temporaries. Uh, almonds are hard to eat. They are a super hard nut, and they are really hard to eat. I can, but I only have to put one on each side and, and bite down it, but it's, it's super hard. It doesn't hurt, but I just generally don't eat almonds. They're just... Macadamia nuts I have a little bit of a hard time with. And I love macadamia nuts. There's just such a better nut. So, I will have, um, as a snack, sometimes three or four macadamia nuts. But I can eat steak. I can eat bacon. Bacon is life. I can eat pretty much anything I want to. <coughs> I'm still not gluing my bottoms down. They fit, and I do have some suction on that. I mean, I can feel it popping sometimes. Um, my speech, as you can tell, is pretty near perfect. Although, when I start laughing about something, I'm trying to talk and laugh at the same time. These kind of pop loose, and I can just... I become more and more and more difficult to understand. And, yeah, there goes that southern accent of mine. As I'm coming into Nashville. Music City, to USA. But, um, that's pretty much it with, with my, I guess, 11, almost 11 months out from my, um, extractions. So, that's pretty much my update from that. But, at this point, like I said, 90% sure I'm going to go with dent kits. <coughs> uh, though, there is that other 10% that I'm leaning towards Joe's, and that might be because of the Avatar dentures, um. I'm still looking at that process. If I decide I want to get those, then I will definitely go with, Je with Jamie's. With J.O.'s dentures. Um, but that's pretty much all I got. I mean, I'm almost in Nashville. I'm almost at my class. I've got another probably 15 minutes of driving before I get there. And then I literally have to jet into class because it starts at 1.30 Nashville time. And, yeah, I'm just... Those of you in Daylight Savings Time that had to jump forward with me, I want my hour back. So, if you guys that don't have Daylight Savings Time want to spare an hour, give it to me. I'll take it. <laughs> anyway, you guys, you guys have a wonderful day. God bless, and I'll see you next time.